Right, Italian national champs was on the weekend. This is a nutty course with a downhill finish. The coverage started too late to kind of show anything. Um, there are a lot of people involved, including like Baroncini for Trek, Velasco for Astana, Mali for uh, the Green Project, and then Rota, uh, who had been solo, who got caught, and Sparadi. Formula Trentino, obviously a good combo. Formula basically was like, right, let's just keep it together and Trentine will win. I thought more people would attack. I thought people wouldn't back their sprint against Trentine, but maybe he has lost his his like ability as a sprinter or his fear as a sprinter because back in the day, he used to be unbeatable in a finish like this. So you can see Formula's on the front. We've got four kilometers to go. Now, the reason I didn't really show any of the rest of the race is there was just carnage. The coverage started too late to really understand anything that had happened. And so I just thought we're going to do a the downhill run because it's pretty crazy i don't think it would be allowed in a bigger race i don't really understand why it was allowed in this race i guess because they think it's going to be a small group but it was a downhill finish with mad hairpins here's baroncini almost stacks it big man gets a punctured unreal bad luck like he probably is a favorite to be honest uh in this kind of company to sprint um, Simone Velasco is second oil for Astana again I thought he would attack I thought Spirali Spirali I guess he thinks he's a good sprinter so he, maybe he doesn't attack but yeah bike change thanks for coming it's over you're never getting back on um, but watch him on the left he actually almost stacks it before puts out his right leg no stress but nonetheless um, bit, of, bit of chaos um, in the Italian national champs but anyway they keep going downhill and it's just the hairpins that really, everyone wants to be like first wheel. There's only like 700 meters once it gets flat. So you basically really need to be really up there. And what you'll see is people doing nutty behaviors. Now, Spirali, he was definitely the weakest on all of the descents up to this point. He looked like he was leaving gaps and everything else. So I was kind of surprised that they actually let him go on the front, to be honest, um, on the descent. Like he definitely is not strong at descending. But what you're gonna see is nutty dive bombing because people realize you've got to be up there also, shout out to the Astana bike. It looks fit with the blue wheels. A big fan of that. But here's Formula on the front. He decides, right, boys, let's just let's just calm it down, calm it down. Um, and Barantini, 21 seconds back. Thanks for coming. So everyone's basically like, all right, I need to fight for Trentin's wheels. So at the moment, Velasco, perfect position, you would say. Spirali, third wheel, or fourth wheel, sorry, thinking, all right, I need to have that rotor. Mali, I'd never heard of Mali before, but he looks pretty decent, to be fair. <clears throat> and this kind of company is not the strongest Italian national champs I've ever seen. Obviously, a lot of them binned it off because they're doing the tour. Um, you know, on a course like this, you'd expect probably more climbing boys to be there. Um, like you know, uh, Ciccone, for example. But nonetheless, a decent group. Rota is also extremely underrated as well. So I would say that, like, he again has a good kick. So I reckon everyone was just like, well, with, with uh, what's his face there? Um, with Trentin and his teammate there, they're just going to keep it together. So you can see on this downhill, here we go onto the first hairpin and they'll get into 1.8K to go and it's still going downhill which is pretty nutty. So this is the first left-hand corner. Watch Rota on the inside. Big dive bomb. He's now second wheel, which I actually don't think is a bad thing um, because when Formula starts to tire, it's kind of good that you're not on his wheel necessarily. Um, so actually not the worst situation in the world for Trentine now being third wheel, but we're going to have two more hairpins. And again, there's more carnage. So Rota's now letting the gap. Uh, no one goes on the inside. And you'll watch here again, more nutty maneuvers. Um, Spirali was trying to get on the inside there, didn't manage to do it. Again, accelerate out the corner. We still got another one, which is a left-hander. And watch Spirali now. He decides to do some absolutely nutty stuff, um, which is kind of crazy. Um, you can see Pels on the inside, late break, um, past Trentine. Um, and he now has third wheel. I think Trentine loses his head here. I think he didn't fight for the wheel as much as he could have done. And I think he was, you'll see in the end, he looks pretty frustrated with the whole situation. While Velasco actually looks pretty decent in fifth wheel now. And Mali are back. Mali's way too far back. With 800 meters to go, sixth wheel. And especially on a quick finish like this, you're going to have to go so early to get try and get past the people on the front. But it starts to stall a little bit around some of these corners. You can see they're all freewheeling. Like they're going to come into this pretty fresh. Um, it's starting to come up. Velasco now loses the... the almost loses that wheel to Mali. He still wants Trentine's wheel because he thinks it's going to be the perfect lead out. They go on a right-hand corner here. Velasco again tries to go on the inside, doesn't manage to get there. Trentine boxes him off. We now got the footage from the front. You can see Rota goes really early. Velasco hops onto Spirali's wheel, managed to get past Trentine and just goes the shortest line. Everyone else is messing around on the other side and he just nukes it. 
goes past everyone. Trentin gets angry with Spirali, but at the end of the day, uh, Velasco had that easily. Um, and quite a solid win for him and big win for Astana. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.